Hey, how you doing? Welcome to another show. So much to tell you. Things are starting to change in the show. Um, like for example, I've got fan mail now. Is this cool? This is totally awesome. So I got an email from Jonathan from Argentina and he asked me one question. He says, in my country, we don't speak English. I was just wondering what you refer to when you say a package of seasoning. If you guys remember the chicken marinating video, a package of seasoning came packed in with the chicken and I had tossed it off to the side. Um, I have already answered him personally, but I wanted to answer to anybody else who was wondering outside of America what we consider seasoning. Seasoning is dry. Uh, it's garlic, it's thyme, it's rosemary. This is a seasoning bottle and it's just dry ingredients. So keep the emails coming. Uh, my email is on the screen right now or you can contact me through Twitter, which is also on the screen. All right, and now it is time to move on to our cooking tip. Okay, are you ready? You know what we're doing today? Another lazy, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Another lazy man's recipe. Well, are you ready? Another lazy man's recipe. This one we're gonna start off with, we're gonna do two of them on the show. First one we're gonna do is lazy man's pizza. People have been asking, well, let's see you make pizza, because I ripped on the pizza places. Pizza Hut and Papa John's and Costco just had like the nastiest pizza. So I'm gonna show you how to do it quickly and easy. All right, see, here's all you need. This is easy. English muffins, shredded mozzarella cheese. You can use different cheese, you know, if you want the Mexican blend, whatever. Uh, here's the sauce that I got ripped off on. And these new little, check this out. My wife found these at Costco. They're like little mini pepperonis. All right, you're gonna lay out the, uh, all the English muffins and just simply start putting a big glop on each, each one. You can go around and spread it later. Okay, we add the cheese, put a little pinch on each one. Once again, this is my house, so I can be as messy as I want. That's what I love about doing this here. I have no idea how these pepperonis are gonna work out, so we're just gonna kinda toss them around there and there we go. So here's the finished product. We're gonna pop this in under the broiler in the oven. And once again, there's no specific time length. Depends on how much cheese, how much stuff you put on there. You're going to watch the cheese. When it's all completely melted, then you're gonna pull it out. This is kind of important. Depends on how hungry you are. I'm gonna put my pizza about halfway in. You can go on the top shelf, but it's closer to the flame. You're gonna to have to be right on top of your pizza watching it carefully, and it could burn. So. I like to take my time, go to the middle rack, stay further from the broiler flame, which is up above, and uh, that will give me more control over the pizza so I don't burn it. Okay, it's been about, I would say 12 minutes. If you take a look here, ah, oh, look at those babies. Look how beautiful. Mmm. Now for those of you who don't know when it's done, you see how there's little touches of brown? Let me just tip this up a little bit here. See the cheese browned a little bit there, browned a little bit there. And this one here, same thing, a little browning, just lightly. The cheese is melted, the pepperoni sizzling, it's absolutely delicious. This is the one I wanna taste, right there, that one. The one you saw on camera. Now some of you have said, Jack, please stop eating on camera because it's killing us, we're starving, it looks great. So I'm just gonna take a bite and let you know how it tastes. I'm not gonna rub it in at all. Wow, that was good. Yeah. You want to buy it? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just did that to you. That was so cold. Unbelievable. I, I won't do it again, I promise. When we come back, we're going to uh, check out Lazy Man's Garlic Bread. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's a snap. Thanks for watching the show, but before you go, let me tell you about my line of sauces. It's called the best barbecue sauce you'll ever taste. It's delicious. And if that wasn't enough, we made a hot one. There it is. Whew, it's good. Hey, check out the best teriyaki sauce you'll ever taste. I got that too. Bam, right there. And if you want more, I got the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. Mm-mm-mm, look at that baby. Check it out at thebestsauces.com. I'll be there waiting for you. See you there. Okay, it's time for Lazy Man Recipe 2 of this video, and it's gonna be Lazy Man's Garlic Bread. But before we get into that, I wanna tell you I ordered Miracle Blades. That's right, you guys would not stop asking me to do Miracle Blades. 
I didn't even know what they were until you guys wrote me. So Miracle Blades, let me show you really quick uh, Miracle Blades. Uh-oh, did that dull knife turn your dinner into something you dread? Hi, I'm Chef Tony, and now there's a knife so sharp you can cut a pineapple in midair. It's the Miracle Blade 3 Perfection Series. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm just practicing for the pineapple scene. Anyway, when the Miracle Blades get here, I'm going to slice a pineapple in midair. Yeah, if I can do it fast enough. We'll see what happens. Personally, pff, waste of money. But I ordered them anyway. It's going to be cool. All right. So now let's get in close again, and I'll show you how to do the Lazy Man's Garlic Bread. And by the way, if anybody knows the difference between Italian bread and French bread, I, you know what? It all smells good to me. Could you write me or, or Twitter me and let me know uh, what the difference is? They always look the same to me, so it doesn't matter. They're kind of interchangeable. But there might be a difference that I don't know about, so let me know. So here's what you got. You got your bread. You've got your bread knife. Yes, that's right. I have the correct knife. And then we have oregano seasoning. And then we have uh, minced garlic. You can also use minced powder, chopped garlic, fresh garlic, any kind of garlic you want. But I'm just going to go with the mince today. And of course, butter. Real simple. This can be done literally in minutes. All right, so I'm going to cut this bread and I'm going to try not to... <laughs> I don't have the best knife skills, by the way, as you guys have already commented. So I'm going to cut down the middle first. And I think we're going to do it long ways. You can cut your, hmm, yeah, you can cut them this way if you want, straight across, and have small pieces. Or you can cut long way, and then, here we go, you can have big giant pieces. Depends on if it's just you and your girlfriend or wife, or, or a big family. If it's a big family, cut the small pieces. Okay, so you're gonna do heavy dose of butter. You're thinking, wow, that's a lot of butter. Yeah, it is, but you have a thick piece of garlic bread. So smooth that out. You can do that with every piece. So now it's all buttered up. You're gonna grab your minced garlic first or your, remember, garlic powder. Any of the forms of garlic will do. I don't recommend doing garlic salt. It's just too salty, okay? And you're just gonna gently sprinkle. Let me move the butter out of the way here. You gently sprinkle on top your bits of garlic this is so easy and now this one you got to be a little more careful so I just tap my finger on it until it starts to come out just give it a tap you don't want too much of this this is just more honestly it gives it a little bit of flavor here you go okay now we're gonna put these on the cookie sheet we're gonna slam them in the oven and when we bring them back they're gonna be absolutely beautiful and golden brown and we'll try it out all right now this is kind of how I like it just the very edge gets really dark. The inside gets some browning going on there. This is really hot, you gotta be careful. Now what I did, I put it in there and I, I must have looked at it like 10 times, okay? You gotta constantly, there's a fine line between this and completely burnt, okay? But you can see everything, the outside's crispy. And hot. Okay, so um, we're gonna cut this open. So if you get it close to your nose, I know you can't do that because you're not in the video with me. Ah, you can smell the butter and the garlic, like the garlic's almost like roasted. And then you can also, the oregano is great. Uh, like I said, you can put basil on this, it's delicious. And you can just hear the, you can just hear the crunch. Mmm. Oh, all I need is a bowl of sauce to dip it in, and I'm good to go. This is called Lazy Man's Garlic Bread. And you saw Lazy Man's Pizza. More videos on the way. Get in touch with me. I'm also on Facebook if you want to check me out there too. Take care and we'll see you on the next show.